With more details on the DART mission, I'm joined from California by Ian Carnelli, who is project manager with the HERA project at the European Space Agency. Ian Carnelli, thanks so much for joining us just shortly after the launch of the DART mission. It's the double asteroid redirection test mission. It sounds a little bit like the stuff of many a Hollywood sci-fi blockbuster, but how real is the threat to planet Earth from these asteroids? Good morning, Sarah. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, today, there is no incoming asteroid on a collision course with Earth, so rest you assured, but it's actually the perfect moment to test our technology and make sure we have an insurance policy to protect our planet because asteroid impacts have happened in the past, but it's the only natural hazard that we can not only predict, but we can also prevent. And the DART mission is the first step humanity is taking to protect planet Earth for, from future impacts. Well, ESA will be supporting DART via its own HERA mission from 2024. What will uh, ESA's role be exactly? Correct. Although DART and HERA were conceived to be independent missions, they're actually complementary. So HERA will be launched in October 2024. It's currently being integrated in Bremen uh, by OHP. And its purpose is to gather all the scientific data, the uh, properties of the asteroid, uh, the, uh, understand what is made of, what kind of minerals, and all the physical and dynamical properties, so that basically we can understand exactly what has happened during the DART impact. And all of this data will be used by more than 300 uh, scientists around the world to validate our models so that in the future, if we have to design a real mission to deflect an asteroid, we will have all of the data, all of the models validated to uh, uh, build the perfect uh, uh, planetary defense system. Well, that science sounds very complex. Does it have any other applications beyond planetary defense? Well, all of the technology we're using is actually uh, technology that is uh, on board many other uh, other satellites. And there are satellites uh, that uh, provide uh, to citizens every day uh, many services like uh, positioning systems, telecommunications, applications on Earth uh, from Earth observation data. So uh, both HERA and DART are actually technology demonstration missions, and this technology will be used for a number of many, many, many applications. Well, Ian Carnelli, that's very interesting. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much.